or like YouTube, I will show you how to install Mobox PC emulator on your device along with Input Bridge. Let's get right to it. Step 1 Open your web browser and type Mobox in the search bar. It should be the second link, which is the GitHub link. Once you're on the website, scroll down and download the three required files, which are Termax, Termax X11, and Input Bridge. Copy the command line for later. You can skip this part if you're not a Xiaomi user, but for Xiaomi devices, you will need to enter the developer options and turn off MIUI optimization. When it's enabled, the apps, well, some apps will not install based on my experience. Go back to settings and type unknown in the search bar. Then we need to allow to install unknown apps. Other devices such as LG type special access instead. Go back to the web browser and install the three APK files that we recently downloaded. Open Termax X11, tap on Preferences, enable full screen on display, enable force landscape orientation, change screen resolution to 800 by 600, enable show additional keyboard, Now let's open the Termax app on your phone, paste the command text, press enter. Allow storage access to all the time, give Termax roughly 3 minutes or more to install in the background. Now type 2 to install new Mobox WoW 64 version. Enter to select, and this will take another two or three minutes. We are almost there. Type Mobox to start the emulator. Press OK. This is my configuration. In DNARAC, I'm selecting 4 for performance. Some games you may need to dial it back to 3 for compatibility reasons. For example, Halo 2. You can press the Enter key to go back. Enable eSync without woods. That will increase a lot of performance. My phone is rooted, so I will select 3 instead, eSync with root. But if your phone is not rooted, select eSync without root. DXVK, leave that as default, no need to trouble any settings here. System settings, again change resolution to 800 by 600.
enable all eight cores. This is very important for GTA 4 to avoid infinite loading. If your phone is rooted, you can select close background apps, OOM adjuster, disable phantom process killer, device compatibility settings, leave it as default. Just granting root permission here. In Wine Container, you can see we have Wine 9.3 installed. And here are the list of other options you can download. Now it's time to start wine, so hit the enter key. The installation will take 3 minutes or more depending on the hardware. Once the system boots up, you may now change some settings. Follow my cursor. For Snapdragon devices, leave it as it is for the best performance. If your smartphone uses MediaTek, Exynos, Google Tensor, or other bit mileage GPUs, use the virtual driver instead, along with Ryan 3D 8.20. Okay, it's time to set up input bridge. Open app info and allow all the permissions. Once that's done, go to settings and type accessibility in the search bar. Search for Touch Emulator Service and enable it. Allow display over other apps for input bridge. Tap on the plus icon to create a new profile. If you don't have the patience to create a new profile, you can always import it from the link below. Let's change this name to Need for Speed Most Water. That will be the game I'm testing. Save. This is optional but can come in handy. Copy the installer to the woods folder. Let's go to touch controls. Enable show controls when connected. This is very important. We will now set up the on screen keyboard. Tap on create control element. As you can see, this on assign button pop up immediately. I'll drag this to the right for now. Scroll down to key code to assign the key for that button. I'll select enter key. Tap on setup twice to create another unassigned button. Repeat the steps until you have most of the default video game keys.
once you have all the bottles now, feel free to do any adjustments such as shape, size, opacity and align that to your personal liking. To import profiles, you tap on I for import and you select one of the files here. I'll select Devil May Cry as an example. And just like that, it is imported successfully. I recommend to import all of them. To view the on-screen keyboard, you tap on the gear icon for input bridge menu and on your far left you see a three dots. You tap on it to select any one of your profiles you just imported. I'm just showing you the different profiles and how it look. And that's about it. We will now test the speed most wanted. But first, let's hide the input bridge on screen keys. Go to your D drive. By default, the D drive is linked to your downloads folder on your phone. Put all your games in that downloads folder. You scroll down to the executable file and you double click it just like a normal Windows operating system. If you get a black screen like me, assuming you are on MediaTek or Exynos, don't worry, I did this on purpose. All we need to do is downgrade it to resolve this. I will now exit this game. Click on Start and install 19.1.8 No need to restart the system Let's restart the game now And just like that, it is resolved As you can see here, the performance is not that great on a decent 2020 MediaTek chip. You might get the same performance on Google Tensor, Exynos or any other chips that with a managed GPU. Mostly because the drivers are closed source. Once the GPU drivers are closed source, the developers will have much harder time to optimize it to make it run faster. I will now show you how to close the emulator. So you tap on the gear icon for input bridge. Then you tap on the eye icon to hide the on-screen buttons. Then you simply switch back to the main Termax app.
then I type 1 to stop the emulator. Select cancel, then type exit to close the app. Or you can just close the whole app itself. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was very helpful. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want more videos like this.